Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Warframe Done Efficiently episode. Today is episode 24, and we are still going. So today, if you remember at the end of the last episode, we had a few frames on the go here. Um, let's have a look. So they're very close to finishing now. Uh, in fact, you know, we've got a couple that already are finished. So Titania and Garuda Prime already finished. Gara Prime, Gara, uh, Varuna... And that's about it. They're going to be finished today. And then we've got Protea and Ivara that are going to come through the pipeline tomorrow. So we are going to go ahead and be ranking those up ASAP because we did get ourselves an affinity booster delivered, which is going to end in two days and five hours, which should give us plenty of time to get those ranked up. Um, and I also want to be working on the dojo today. I want to be, you know, getting it to a point where it is basically finished. So if we take a look, well, let's just hop in. Um, because it's been a while since we've actually done anything in the dojo. So let's take a look. And basically, we just want to go around all the labs uh, and just start looking at what we're going to need. We are going to obviously need some invasion resources. So detonite injectors, um, mutagen mass, and also uh, fieldron. Uh, that's what we're going to need. So let's start off and just look in the Tenno lab and see where we're at. So as you can see, I did start a few things uh, yesterday. Uh, just after the episode finished, actually, the last episode finished, we started a few things. So, Larkspur Research, Shaku, there's there's not really much left to do other than the Arcwing stuff. So, we need to do the Elytron Research and the Amesha Research, which I do have stuff for, bar Fieldron, as you can see. I've got quite a lot of Death Injectors, actually. Uh, we just need Fieldron. So, I have done uh, just a quick couple of invasions off camera, so hopefully we'll have about six Fieldron coming in. Which I think should be enough to cover everything in here um so yeah we'll be we'll be focusing on that if we take a look at the chem lab this is practically done now it's just uh you know stuff like the side on we're gonna need so we're gonna need to get some nitane extract in fact we can do that now let's start that that's good and then we can start doing the the twin croaker and also um the kasheg uh, and then that will be everything in here finished oh jack kasar can we do that yeah we can easily do that Good, good. So yeah, is that everything? I think that is now going to be everything. Oh, Nux, yeah. We can't do that. And we're going to have to wait until rank 10, which we should get fairly soon, I imagine. Uh, so let's have a look now at the energy lab. I think most stuff in here is going to be done now. So Glaxion, Felarx, uh, Occucore, and Batacore. These ones always, for some reason, like, try and crash my game. I think we're going to have everything for these already, which is going to be nice. Batacore, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're ready to go. So as soon as the Kreska finishes researching, we can go ahead and research Batacore and Occupor. Uh, and then it will just be the Glaxion and the Ferox for this. So that's good. And if we take a look at our Biolab. Hema, obviously, mutagen samples. Uh, and we've also got... Um, Let's see. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I've got three more things researching here. So it's just the Hema now. So that's good. Yeah, nothing else in there. Uh, and is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. So if we take a look at our, our just clan in general right now. So we are sort of 58.5 away. Uh, and that we should have enough in the pipeline to get that done. I don't know if I'm missing any buildings or not. Just wondering. I don't think I have any free nodes. Oh, I think I do have one, actually, where I was going to put a reactor. Yeah, over there on that top side. We don't have one. That's fine. Cool. All right. So I've had a look through all of these researches already just to see, you know, what's what. And I think what we're going to need to do is farm two resources in particular. So the first one is going to be Oxium. Uh, we're going to need a fair amount of Oxium for all of these crafts. I'm going to probably try and get up to maybe 10k um, and hope that's kind of going to cover it. Uh, the second thing we're going to need is o an Oxium. I just said that. We're going to need cryo, uh, cryotic. So, yeah, we're going to need to do some some real farming for cryotic because stuff like the Nux, uh, if we go to, where are we, chem lab? Yeah, the Nux requires 20,000 cryotic, so, you know, that's like, well, it's a lot. <laughs> so it's like 200 rounds of um, of any particular 
uh, excavation mission. God, my brain is, is failing today. Apologies. Um, so yeah, we are going to have to focus that quite a lot. We have everything else here. You know, we've got lots of all of these resources. It's just, just going to be the Oxium and the Cryotic that we're going to fall short on. And to begin this episode, I want to do the Oxium. I'm, I'm kind of half waiting to get delivered a you know a, a resource booster like because i feel like at some point we're due it right i don't know maybe i'm going crazy so yeah we'll um we'll wait and see but basically i'm probably going to end up just buying a resource booster today and hope that if one another one does come in then it will add on so the thing about farming oxium and also cryotic is that we do not need a resource drop chance booster right because with a resource drop chance booster, like the, the Oxium Ospreys have a 100% drop chance guaranteed. And adding on resource drop chance booster is not going to affect that drop rate at all. So the only thing that's going to help us out in this, in this instance is going to be a resource booster. Now, obviously, we're going to be farming up resources alongside that. So I've been having a look and I have been seriously contemplating this booster bundle here. You can see our platinum is up very high since the end of last episode. So we can afford this quite comfortably. And it will give us, you know, in terms of like how much you would save on all of these boosters, it's a lot. But at the same time, I have to question whether or not we're going to be using them or not. So, you know, that, that's something to bear in mind when you're thinking about spending platinum. Don't think of it in terms of this is great value for what you're getting. Think of it in terms of am I actually going to be able to utilize that value? Will I be around enough to play it? Um, and to be honest, since we're coming up to like the Christmas holidays, um, I'm going to be off for a bit soon. I feel like I might have enough time to make use of this. So I am, I am going to buy this. Um, don't get mad at me. <laughs> I just, I need it. So yeah, we're going to get it. This is 800 platinum worth of boosters for 500 platinum. It's almost 50% what you would have to pay if you just bought all four of these, which is what I used to do on my main account to keep my boosters up. We just buy four of these. Um, so, you know, this is a huge improvement. So let's go ahead uh, and we'll grab that. Happy days. So we now have, yeah, 30 days worth of boosters. We are not going to have to spend platinum on boosters or anything of that nature for the next four episodes at least. So that's happy days. Um, but yeah, we need to go ahead now and start farming some Oxium. And I might have come across inadvertently a nice Oxium farm. So what I'm going to do just quickly before I show this on camera is I'm going to do a bit of testing to see if I can, you know, get the rates up. Right now, the kind of Oxium farming locations are Io on Jupiter. Um, Phobos, you can farm Pluto. There's a nice farming uh, defense mission there as well. But what I want to do is obviously try and get this to a point where we're getting similar rates but on solo. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, see if I can get the, the location that I've discovered at least to work with Cora. Now, when you're using Cora against Corpus units, you've got to remember that nullifier bubbles can come into play. So, yeah, we're going to need to be a bit careful about what we're doing. But hopefully, this will all work out. And we'll find ourselves a very nice Oxium farm that we can do solo on Steel Path. So, yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys. So, I just finished up my little test run there for the uh, Oxium farming location. Uh, you can see we were on um, the Corpus Survival Mission on Pallas Pluto. Went to 20 minutes. And we managed to get ourselves 1,892 Oxium. And believe me when I say that could have been a lot more. Because unfortunately I did get a Kavat booster at about the 16th minute. And then I managed to die to an Acolyte and I couldn't get myself back up using Uniru. So I lost maybe two, one and a half to two minutes worth of a, of a Kavat booster. And then obviously I had to get my combo counter back up, which obviously dropped my rates quite quite drastically. I think I was probably getting about 100 Oxium per minute in that farm. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. Um, I'll show that off, I think, once I have perfected a way to deal with the Acolytes on this build. We may have to put on a secondary weapon, I'm not sure. I'm just thinking what's going to be good for just completely bonking the acolyte or even actually we could go like kuva heck or something i don't know yeah maybe we'll go kuva heck who knows 
I'll have a think about it, guys, and then uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back and and carry on farming Oxium once I've uh, once I've found a good way to deal with him, um, because that is really all that was missing from that farm was just a good way to handle the acolyte. So, from looking online, it seems like most people, you know, are farming Oxium, like I said, on Io Jupiter, or um, you know, Alter Terminus. But the tile set for this does change quite a lot. So yeah, and they were getting maybe I don't know. 300 in 10 minutes so being able to get 100 oxium a minute i'm fairly happy about i'm going to keep testing and uh, as soon as i have something that i am 100 percent happy with then maybe we'll make even a separate video for it but i'll show it off in this episode either way um yeah should be good so i'll catch you guys in a second i'll show you what we're doing oh yeah i think this might be the spot guys not gonna lie We're up to 1,096. Make that 1,132. And we've only been in here nine minutes. Pretty good. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to keep going. Uh, I've already found out quite a lot before this, uh, this run. I think that's one on the line there as well, maybe. Or not. Um, so yeah, we should not have a lot more to go in terms of, <coughs> excuse me, in terms of Oxium. Like I said, I'm only going to be farming up 10k. Only going to be farming up 10k. <laughs> I'm going to be farming up 10k. Uh, and then hopefully that will last us at least for a bit. Most of the crafts we're going to need, or the research we're going to need, sorry. Oh. Uh, let's replace these while he's uh, coming in. Stay still. So yeah, um, I'll keep going, guys, and then yeah, we'll come back once we're uh, we're ready to go and do the uh, the cryo. All right, that should be enough now. So twenty two minutes and two thousand two hundred ninety six oxium. Happy with that. So that's ten k oxium now. We farmed up. Very good, very good, very good. So now I'm going to take a break and then, yeah, I'll probably be back on tomorrow and we'll go ahead and farm up our cryo. In fact, I probably won't even farm, do any of that, like, on camera. I'll just go and get it because everyone knows that, you know, it's just cryo. I'll probably even use a Cora build. I've got a Cora cryo build right here, which is, you know, a bit more tanky. You can go for a bit longer. So I'll probably just be using that. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys when we've got that all gathered up. Alright guys, so that is all done now. Let's just hop into our dojo and I'll show you uh, I'll show you what's been going on. I've also started leveling up some of our frames and stuff that we require. We've got eight frames, eight more frames that we can rank up now and max out. So that's really good. Uh, but if we just hop in here, I just want to show you guys real quick what's going on. Um, so actually, one of these might be able I finished. Yeah, that's all done. So... Um, all of this stuff is now researching. I think everything in here is researched. I could just use the clan tab to see this, but, you know. So all of this is now done. The only things that are left to begin researching are the Arcwing parts. But as you can see, we're not going to be able to do that for a few days. Um, so in two days and nine hours, we're going to be able to start building these. And if we take a look here, you can, in fact, see that we are going to need probably some more... Uh, some more oxygen. I've got 2,637 left, so yeah, we can use it for that. Uh, but then also cryo, we don't have any left now, uh, and you'll see why in a second. <laughs> um, more cryo. Um, let's see, more oxygen perhaps? No, so we just need more cryo for that. That's fine. Uh, and it's how we've done. So basically, we're going to need another... What's that? 1,250, so we're going to need another like seven or 8,000 cryotic, uh, and we're going to need another, actually no, I think that's it, yeah, we don't need any more oxium, so I think we've actually got enough oxium, we farmed up enough, enough oxium to begin with, that's great, so yeah, just a bit more cryo farming, and we've got a few days to get, to get that done before, you know, Amesha uh, has finished, or was it uh, Elytron, yeah, so we've got a few days before Either of these are finished and we need to farm that up, so that's good. And then if we head over to Chemlab, you can see the Nux is researching. That was 20k cryo right there, and let me tell you something. I managed to farm that up 
in under half an hour. I got a triple cavat buff um, cover, covering two miners. So that's like an instant... Um, what is that? 200? 400 is one. 800 is two. 1600 is three. Yeah, so I got like 3,200 cryo in the space of about three minutes, which was insanely... Well, not even in the space of three minutes. In the space of like one and a half minutes, which is the the most you can get. Like, that's perfect timing. So I was really happy with that. That was just great. And obviously those buffs then overlapped other ones and I got 800s for a bit. It was great. Really good farm. Um, so happy with that. And then, yeah, Jack Kassar's researching. Once that's done, we'll be able to do... Uh, oh, sorry, the Sidon's researching as well. We'll be able to do uh, the Twin Croaker. That's not going to take too much. Oxium, that's, we should have enough for that. Uh, and then here, yeah, we've got all this stuff already. So all of this will be done. By the time these are all finished researching as well, we should have unlocked um, the Ignis Wraith. Um, and then if we go ahead and take a look at our bio lab real quick. We've got, yeah, those three buildings. So the only thing that's left in here is the Hema, which we will be farming up for. We need 5,000 mutagen samples. That's a big one. But uh, I'm sure we can probably get that. Um, then, yeah, let's head over to the energy lab. So in the energy lab here, once again, you can see all of this stuff is going. The lens, that also required a load of resources. Same with the Ferox, you know, all of this stuff requires so much, but it's out of the way. So the Ocucore, which nearly crushes my game, we've got all of this stuff for, as you can see, ready to go. Same with the Batacore, have everything here ready to go as well. So as soon as the, uh, the Kresk is finished tomorrow, this will all be done. So yeah, very happy guys. All of the research is, is going well. One thing that I uh, I kind of want to do as well, because I didn't realize this, but basically the obstacle course and the obstacle course architect give separate amounts of clan affinity. Uh, and I'm also, by the way, no, that's not right. <sighs> Tenno Lab. I started researching some colors as well, just to get our... Oh, and the backdrops, they're all going. Um, and I've... Yeah, researching Mutualist Red, which will be ready tomorrow. We're going to go through all of these in turn. It's kind of sucky that you can't at least start collecting the pigments whilst the other one is in progress. But, you know, what can you do? It's going to be a long while before we can get all of that done, I guess. Um, what's the other thing? What's the other thing? Oh, yeah. So if I just go to my dry dock real quick. Like I was saying, I didn't realize that the obstacle course and the obstacle course architect are like two different things, right? So, because we were like running out of space here, I've had to sort of build off this axis over here. Uh, and I'm just kind of debating how I want to do this. Um, I think I'm actually going to destroy this room. Or at the very least, make it into a T section. In fact, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, we'll destroy this room now. So then what we'll do is we will make make this room into a T-section. Um, and then we'll probably have... Or maybe we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, no, hold on. Cancel that. So what we need is a T-section here. Can I do that in connectors? T-shaped connector... We want it rotated that way. So then what we'll have is the obstacle course coming off over here. And then another reactor up here. I think that's the best way to do it. So let's build that. I've got some resources in my vault. So that's all nice. Uh, yes. Good. Right, so once that's done. In fact, can we rush that? We've got loads of platinum. Yeah. So then over here, we'll put ourselves a reactor. We're going to run out of former doing this. Uh, and we're probably going to have to wait for that to finish before we can... Uh... Oh, actually, hang on a minute. Let me just check that I can fit this in. Obstacle course architect. Yeah, that fits there. So that's perfect. Uh, so yeah, let's get this building. Contribute all... So that reactor is now going. I don't think I'm able to build this yet. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough energy to one available. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. We'll wait for that to finish and then we'll start building that. That's another 15k clan XP. Let's take a look. 
Uh, over here, research. So you can see here, we're missing just the Amesha stuff. Uh, let's carry on. Oh, Elytron stuff. That should be it. Yeah. And then in the Chem Lab, we're missing the Ignis Wraith, which we will unlock soon. The Kasheg, which we need to wait for the Jack, oh, sorry, the uh, Sidon to finish building, and the Twin Croker, same as, same as that up there. So that's all going well. In the Bio Lab, we just need the Hema now, so that's good. Energy Lab, just the last two at the end, Batacore and Occupore. Squad, oh, Squad Shield restore a lot. What the hell? Did we not get that? Squad, that's Squad Energy restore. Oh, Squash Steel. I didn't see that. Damn it. Do we have enough? Five comms. We need more titanium. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll farm that up as well then, I guess. Uh, but yeah, just uh, to give you guys an update of where we're at with the clan now. So it's very nearly done. Um, and then it will just be colours that we need to research. So yeah, we'll get on and do that afterwards. But I, I won't be showing you guys any of that at any point until we maybe come to decorate the dojo a bit. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead, farm up those last resources for the Squad Energy Restore. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll regroup and uh, think about what we're going to do next. All right, guys. So titanium farmed up. That uh, squad shield restore is now building. And I'm going to have to do a bit more farming, which I will do off camera, um, for mutagen, which I can then use to make the Hema. And that's going to take a while. I'd estimate probably even with the resource booster doing it solo. Ooh, on a good run, maybe 700k to a million in an hour. So, oh no, that's, I'm thinking of nanospores. Sorry. About 1,200, I reckon. 1,200 to 1,500 in an hour for mutagen samples. So, yeah, we'll say maybe a couple hours, I think I'll need. I think I need like 2.5k. So, a couple hours of farming on mutagen samples, but. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to do that off camera. It might not be until next episode that we finish up everything in the dojo because, you know, i still got to wait for the uh, the Arcwing stuff to finish. But, you know, we'll see what happens. But to finish off this episode, I thought we'd uh, do something a bit different. I do want to get a working build for uh, Varuna. Um, and as part of that, we are going to need... I think I'm going to do this as a disruption build. Varuna... Varuna... Uh, Varuna Dis? Varuna Dis. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and put her on. She's rank zero right now. Uh, there she is. So what I want to do is I want to make, uh, Azor for her. So it's going to be still based around Exodia Contagion somewhat, but we want it to be able to one-shot high-level, uh, you know, demolists or demolitionists in disruption so i'm thinking for that we will probably use hmm i think we might use the plague path i think that's a thing we do have it already we got it when the last uh, event came around so that's handy uh where's it gonna be where's it gonna be crip path there it is so we're gonna need 50 more pyrotic alloy i assume we don't have any cryotic, unfortunately. Pi, 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 erotic alloy. We need more pyrol as well. Okay, we need some more stuff for that. So yeah, we'll go ahead. I'm going to build this, I think, as either a sword or a pole arm, which are kind of the only two options, really. <laughs> so we might build it in a similar style to how we built the one... That we currently have with the Dockram. So if we take a look at the the grip and stuff on that, uh, we've already got it here, but we can look at the parts here. Uh, so Vargit to Ruhang, Link, Quath grip, and then Dockram strike. I don't think there's much point. I don't think we even bought the uh, the grip from the event, but you know, that's fine. So we'll do the same thing, but then we'll just change out the strike for the Plague Path. Uh, and then we'll build it in a similar style to how we've done this, but we, we might have to amend it a bit. With the Plague Repath, I think you get innate uh, viral, so it might be a good one to use for Profit Taker in the end. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, guys, farm up the resources I need to build the Plague Repath. Uh, we can just rush it through, um, I think. Uh, let me go ahead and throw a... 
reactor on this guy. Thank you. Uh, and we'll, we'll have to do a bit of forming, I imagine, as well. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come to that soon enough. So the main one that's going to be good for disruption is going to be this. So that's going to give us, as you can see, increased critical multiplier. Does that scale off of strength? I assume it probably might do. Yes, it does. So a very high strength build, I think. It seems to have a fairly high duration already, actually, and this is level zero. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll have a play around with this once it's ready. So let me do that now for you guys, and then we'll do a quick cut, and then hopefully on the next cut, this guy will be, or this girl, will be ready to go. Is this the right way to do this? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do that. Come into this. Half HP, so not too bad. Could be better, I think. Uh... Our combo counter went down quite a lot, so maybe we could do with some sustain on that. Okay. I mean, you know, two, and he probably would have actually died to one because I hit him directly, so... You know, it's not bad, I suppose. It's just, yeah, the combo counter's going down quite quickly. <laughs> that's uh, that's our main issue right now. So we'll have to do something about that. I don't know what we're going to do, though. Let's, um, let's get out and we'll have a look. Uh, we're going to end the episode soon, but I just want to figure out, you know, the best kind of combo for this build. So bear with. Let's have a look. If we go down here... So this is what I'm working with so far. I am going to change this. Um, although I can't remember what the combo counter one is. In fact, let me check the... I haven't checked this for a while. So let's just quickly see what's available. Nope. Whole strength. Eh. No. Okay. There definitely is uh, one that... I can put on for combo counter so maybe I'll look into that and stick that on there but basically what I've what I've got here I'm, I am going to put like I said another ability on here for the time being but silence is just left on from when I was ranking it up um, and then yeah we're basically just using fangs of rack to slow and also apply status and then shroud of dinar to get that extra crit multiplier um, you can see I have been messing around with this because I did have Vigorous Swap on there before, but the energy usage was slightly too high for right now. Probably going to mess around with that a bit as well. Um, maybe we don't even need Vigorous Swap, you know, I don't know. Hmm. If we take Vig Swap off, put Blind Rage on, and then put, like, Fleeting there. Something like that. And then we can actually fit... Umbra Vitality there. So we only lose 5% efficiency. We lose a bit of duration, but it should still be fine. Yeah, 24 seconds and now 6.18 times multiplier. So that's good. And then, yeah, on my Plague Krapath here, I've got Condition Overload, Blood Rush, Berserker Fury, uh, all that good stuff. In fact, we could even take Berserker Fury off, you know. I don't know what we would replace it with, though. We could do, like, Gladiator Rush there, in theory. Let's try that. I think the melee speed might be a bit slow, but you never know. So just for now, let's keep it that way. I'll look into getting the uh, the augment mod, but let's try that again, guys, and see what happens. All right, guys. So we're full combo counter, but our um, our pet seems to have given us. Okay, well we one shot Zanuka, so that was interesting. Um, again, steel path, lure destruction. You can see enemy level at about 135 right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and take one of these. Uh, survivability might be an issue at some point, but I think we're fine. We can just go in this. Uh, wow, this is miles away. What a terrible tile set. I'm just going to test it out on this one, I think, and then we'll uh, we'll call it there. Varuna is very fast. It is quite fun. Right. 
guessing this way? Yes. Okay, so. Two. Then we can use... Okay, we're out of energy for some reason. We can use our first. Uh, ticking down, but not great. Hmm. Yeah, might need a bit of work. Maybe armor strip is needed. I don't know. Either way, guys, I'll probably have a play with this off camera. Um, but we are running out of time now for this episode, so... Probably going to have to end it there, and then we'll finish off the clan stuff next episode. So let's head back to the ship. So I think the other method we were using was better. Whatever that was, I can't quite remember. Uh, maybe my timings were just wrong there, but yeah, who knows. I'll, uh, I'll mess around with this a bit more. Uh, it still does a lot of damage, so, you know, I'm not complaining, but I want to get it to that point where it is just a guaranteed one shot with the uh, Exodia Contagion. Might take a while, but yeah, we'll get there, so... Yeah, we'll probably have to end the episode there. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, guys.